Hello, Mike Mazzalongo here with uh, BibleTalk.tv. Uh, we're beginning a new series entitled How to Love Somebody You Hate. This is lesson number one in this uh, special series designed for small groups. Um, I want to uh, mention uh, uh, as we begin the series that uh, our uh, lesson series is based on a great little book here uh, by uh, Milton Jones entitled How to Love Somebody You Can't uh, Stand. A uh, great small book, still in print, I believe, and uh, I encourage you to uh, obtain a copy if you can. A lot of good information in this book. And um, this uh, series is based on a lot of the ideas that Milton has in his uh, book. So this is lesson number one in this uh, series uh, for uh, small groups. And uh, the first lesson is entitled uh, Personal Inventory. Now, uh, in, um, in most of the situations where people seek counseling, um, the, basic, uh, the basic issue or the basic problem is usually a troubled relationship. Uh, problems between husbands and wives, uh, child and parent, um, other family relationships, perhaps a conflict between friends or coworkers, uh, various individuals uh, and superiors. Uh, also sometimes a conflict between an individual and an institution. You know, we, we've been fired or we, we feel we've gotten a, a raw deal from our company or we work for the government. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, there is a conflict. There's problems between these two uh, entities. Uh, we know that some people have uh, brain damage or uh, they uh, suffer from uh, a paranoia or schizophrenia, other types of mental illness to be sure, but most of the cases involve problems between people. And so uh, I, I've often said that uh, dogs are man's best friend because um, for the simple reason that dogs can't talk. Uh, they don't talk back, they don't give you their opinion, they don't get their feelings hurt. Uh, and for that reason, uh, we usually can maintain a pretty good relationship with dogs. People, on the other hand, have more sensitive feelings uh, than dogs, and they, they remember slights uh, and insults, and sometimes uh, imagine hurts where there uh, are no hurts. And uh, this, of course, leads to problems in uh, relationship between people. So if you're human, there's uh, probably someone at some time that you've had problems with for various reasons, and you've uh, disliked them, even hated them. And uh, I, I don't know about you, but most people have trouble carrying around a dislike for another person. Uh, it, it eats uh, at them from the inside. It, it uh, robs them of peace of mind. Uh, I think it, most people, if they, were, if they could have a choice, would rather be at peace with everyone uh, than uh, have a dislike or uh, a dispute or, or certainly a hatred uh, of another person. They, most people would rather resolve those things, but resolving these things is not always easy. So if you're watching this series, I suspect that uh, you may be hurt uh, and the hurt that you feel is still there or the person or persons that you can't stand or you hate are still in your life as well or perhaps both. You've got the feelings and the people, but you haven't been able to resolve uh, those issues. Now, I want to remind you that this uh, course or this series of lessons uh, is a how-to series, a how-to class. So we're going to learn how um, uh, to deal with those people uh, that we can't stand, those people that we hate, uh, that are still in our lives, that we have to deal with for, for whatever reason. We're also going to learn to deal with the feelings uh, uh, that cause uh, th this hatred. Uh, we're going to learn how to react and think differently uh, in the future. And we're going to learn how to share our burden uh, with uh, other people. So let's have a word of prayer as we uh, begin uh, this series uh, so we can ask the Lord to help us achieve these goals. Shall we pray together? Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you have uh, given us uh, your love and your uh, kindness throughout our lives. We're especially grateful for the revelation of your son, Jesus Christ, uh, and the wonderful salvation that he has brought to uh, all of those who have believed and obeyed his gospel. And now, Father, as we go into this study, we pray that you open the hearts and minds of each individual 
uh, that are taking the time to watch this series. We pray that the final result uh, will be that they uh, will be at peace with those people or those entities uh, with which uh, they are at odds with for whatever uh, reason. Father, please help us now as we um, go into this uh, uh, lesson and bless all those who are watching and who will watch in the future. These things we pray in Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, um, I want you to, first of all, uh, take a uh, paper and pencil, or if you've got your phones, you know, get your notepads out, whatever way that you can record uh, certain facts. And I'm gonna give you um, a bit of a, uh, an assignment here to, uh, to start off this first lesson. I want you to list three people or groups, or if it's an institution, I want you to list three of these um, simply by uh, writing down numbers. You know, number one, and then just put a line, don't put a name there. Number two, a line, no name. Number three, a line, no name, anything like that. Just put the numbers there and leave a space. But I want you in your mind to think, who does you know, number one represent? And who or what does number two represent? And who or what does, the, uh, does uh, number three uh, represent? And I want you simply, to, um, uh, simply to, to know your inventory of people simply by the number you've assigned them. Number one, number two, number three. And you know, you'll be able to remember who are your, you know, the three people um, that uh, you have difficulty dealing with. Next to each number, uh, no names remember, but next to each number, I want you to write in brief the main reason why you can't stand this person. The main reason why you hate this person. Now, remember that this list is private. Uh, you're not going to show this list. You're not going to share it with other people. You're not going to, you know, give it out to other people to examine. This is your list, but I want you to make it so that you have a list to work with from week to week uh, or whenever you are uh, watching this series. Now, some of the numbers, you know, the individuals that you put down for the numbers, some of these people um, may simply annoy you. Uh, and you may not have had a long-term conflict, and that's, that's okay. You know, the guy who delivers your mail, for example, maybe you know, he, 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 he drops your mail on the floor or he leaves the, 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 the door open to your mailbox and the rain goes, you know, sometimes, some people just annoy us. And that's okay if you want to put that down. But I want to make sure that you put down what I call your biggie. You know, the one who really, mm, really hurts when you think about that person uh, that's the person you really uh, have trouble with. Uh, so you can put down different individuals, but make sure the big one, you know, the most important individual with, which, with whom you have a, a conflict with, uh, you've listed that individual, okay? And I want you to write down not only the what you know, has happened, but I also want, I want you to, to write down the why, not just who the person is, but why, why, number one, why is it that this individual uh, uh, makes you dislike them or hate them so much? All right, once you are finished, uh, everyone uh, together, I want you to take a moment to offer a silent prayer asking God to forgive you for your lack of love, to forgive you for your failure to fix or to help you learn how to love the person that you've listed. Now, uh, do the exercise, take the time to write all this down, and then after everyone has finished that, take a moment to reflect and to ask God to set your heart right, to set your heart into a position, into a gear, if you wish, that will lead you to the point uh, where you will be able to love uh, the person that you formerly disliked or hated. All right, now, I, I, I don't want you to be uh, surprised that we've begun in this way. Uh, because the point of this class is not to get the people that we can't stand to become more lovable. No, the purpose of this class is to help us get to the point where we can love those who are unlovable in our personal lives. We're, we're not here to, 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 turn, to change the other person. We're here to change ourselves, okay? All right, 
Now, I mentioned that one way to achieve our goal, which is to love people that we hate or we can't stand, one way to achieve this goal is to share our burden with, with other people. Normally, when we can't stand someone, our natural instinct, because we're sinful, right, is to destroy the other person or talk badly about them or perhaps ignore them. This doesn't help. This type of reaction doesn't help for several reasons. First of all, it doesn't help because we fall into sin and hurt our souls when we do this. Even if we're justified, even if what the other person done, has done to us uh, is wrong, is, is mean-spirited, uh, even if we absolutely are owed an apology or a request for forgiveness, even if we're 100% innocent, uh, uh, continuing to hate, continuing to dislike, continuing to have this negativity about that person, even if it's justified, does not help us. It hurts us. It, 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 it makes, you know, one wrong was done in, in hurting us and we add a second wrong uh, to that first wrong by continuing to hate the individual for what they have done because we fall into sin. And sin debases us and it hurts our souls. Another reason that it doesn't help this type of uh, situation is that we aggravate the situation by distorting it. In other words, if something was done to us that hurt us and in return we hate the individual, dislike the individuals, you know, negativity towards the individual, um, uh, this doesn't help the situation. It simply magnifies the situation. It makes it actually bigger than it really is. It energizes the situation and it gives it more power to hurt us even more. And then another reason why uh, hating those we can't stand and continuing to do so is counterproductive is that we alienate that person even further. Let's face it, you know, if you don't like somebody, eventually that person is gonna, <laughs> is gonna know, is going to realize it, especially if it's somebody that's close to you or someone that you have to interact with on a, on a, on a normal uh, basis. So the Bible says that uh, we should share one, other, one another's burdens. I don't mean gossip now, that's not the same thing. And we can do this, this sharing of our burdens, um, by honestly sharing with another our hurts and our concerns concerning our troubled relationships. I'm not talking about gossiping. I'm not talking about you know, tearing that person down who hurt our feelings, but honestly and sincerely sharing our burden, sharing how it has affected us, sharing the difficulty we have in dealing with that person, sharing that with someone else helps us to bear that burden. Of course, uh, this bearing our burdens or sharing our burdens requires discretion and, and tenderness and understanding and, and openness with other people. Now, in our, in our next exercise, I'm going to ask all of you to show these qualities as you begin the process of sharing your burdens with one another. So the course begins uh, uh, by the class, you, uh, sharing your uh, particular burdens with uh, one another. And here's how we're going to do this. Now, of course, in a live class here, this is a video class, but in a live class, if I had people here uh, doing this uh, particular uh, class, what I do is I take the group and divide them into smaller groups, four or five people. Like if you're eight or nine people, you know, break it up into two groups of four or five. If you're a larger group, a group of five is just about the right size for the exercises that we're going to do in this, uh, in this series. So um, if you're going to do this exercise, if you're ready to do that, break up into small groups first, okay? Uh, now, some rules about the small groups. If you're in a small group of five people, um, I try not to have any husband and wives together or family people together in the same groups or best buddies together in the same group. I mean, if it's unavoidable, if it's all just a family that's doing it, fair enough. But if you're able to you know, be with individuals that are not your family, your, your, your spouse, your best friends, you know, people you, you know in the group, this is, this is much better, okay? So let's start by breaking it down into groups of five 
uh, and not with individuals that you're, um, you're in family with. Uh, that's first. Uh, secondly, I want you to, once you've broken down into these groups, I want you to pick one of the three that's on your list. All right, doesn't have to be your big one. It can if you want, it doesn't have to be. I want you to pick one situation on your list and share it with the people in your group. Now, there's a rule about sharing. I want you to share it to the degree that you are comfortable, okay? Some people can just open themselves up and share all the details, you know, even the intimate details of, of a situation. Other people are less comfortable doing that. So I'm asking you, share to the degree that you are comfortable. The reason why you can't stand number one on your list or number three on your list, okay? Um, it can be your biggie or it can be one of the lesser uh, individuals. And I want each person to take the time to share one of their numbers on their list. So if you're five people, each person take at least you know, four or five minutes to share what's on you know, one of the numbers on their list and go around the group till everyone has had an opportunity to share, okay? Now, here's another rule, no advice. No advice, no comments on how to fix things. Well, not yet anyways, from the other people in the group. In other words, when you're sharing in this first you know, session here, I don't want the other people in the group to say, oh, wait a minute, oh, that happened to me once and this is what I did. You know, no, no, no advice. You, know, you can commiserate, oh, that's, that must have been difficult or uh, you poor soul or whatever, but no advice, no how to fix the, uh, things, no sharing what happened when you went through a similar thing. We'll do that later on, but, but not now. For now, just share with the others, the others listen quietly and attentively, lovingly, and then when one person is finished, the next person will share and so on and so forth. And then when everyone has completed, select a, a brother in the group uh, 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 or a sister, uh, if you're a group of ladies, um, uh, to lead a prayer for uh, the group. All right, when you're done. Okay, one last thing before uh, you uh, begin doing your exercises. In this first session, I only wanted to break the ice and, and show that everyone has someone or something uh, that they have trouble with, that they can't stand, that they, they even hate in life. Uh, we've also begun to develop a basic relationship of trust with our brothers and sisters in Christ. And let's keep our discussions about these things in this class. And so the story that you know, the person over here shared about their life or about their difficulty, that story has been you know, shared uh, in, in, in not secret, but uh, in confidence, shall we say. So let's, let's be discreet. The things that we learn about each other in uh, this type of uh, group setting, uh, the things that we learn here, they're not for public consumption. Okay, you, you don't go home and share that after with, with someone else, all right? So uh, this, this type of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, resource, this type of uh, session, uh, it can't be successful if we don't trust that the other individuals are being discreet with things about our personal lives that we may be sharing with them, okay? One last thing, I give you, um, uh, some homework to do after the discussion groups are done and we're, we're through for this first session. And that is, I want you to go to Romans chapter 12 and I want you to read verses 14 to 21. Romans 12, 14 to 21. I want you to read that passage of scripture every day. Every day I want you to read that passage of scripture uh, until the next time that we come back together for uh, lesson uh, number uh, two. So begin to pray each day uh, for the three individuals on your list and read uh, Romans chapter 12 verses 14 to 21 every day as well. That's the homework, that's the assignment that you'll need to do until we come back for uh, lesson number two. Okay, so that's the uh, instruction part of this uh, first lesson. I encourage you now to break into your groups and, 
and do the exercise that we have uh, laid out for you. And we'll come back next time with uh, lesson number two. God bless.